if uh, you're using DaVinci Resolve and you're a speed ramper, there's been a huge improvement and it's a time saver. I'm gonna help you out and show you how it works. I've got a long clip here and I've added some speed ramps using the retime control. You can see down below, I've added speed points and did some fast to slow, fast to slow, fast to slow. And of course we wanna smooth out those transitions. It used to be kind of a pain and it just got a lot easier. Uh, so it's DaVinci Resolve, it's in beta, it's version 20. You can download that from DaVinci website. And let me show you how we're going to do this. You click on the clip here and up on the top in the new version, there is a keyframe panel. I'm gonna click that. And that shows us all of the things that we've done to the clip. And you can see I've done my retiming here. I'm just gonna turn off this retime frame. I don't wanna see that. And so we wanna to get to our curve so we can add curves. There's two ways to do that. We can come up here above where it says parameters. There's a little hamburger menu and then there's a curve menu, you click that. That shows us all of our, uh, all of our marks there. I can turn that uh, off by going back to parameters. And you can also come over here to this little uh, big window and do that. And that opens everything up into a new window. It makes it even easier to see. Now you used to have to click these speed points one at a time and add curve to them. For the first time ever now you can select all of them, come up here to this ease in and ease out button and click that and that will automatically put curves on everything in one click. So it's just a big time saver instead of having to click eight times uh, and then click this thing eight times. It's uh, hugely helpful. Once you've done it, you can of course grab your little points and, and modify them more if you would like. Matter of fact, I'm gonna modify that one right there. And then you can use this little, if you, uh, this little uh, expansion here if you want to make your window a little bit bigger and you can move around by hitting the center scroll wheel and click and move around. So that is it, I've just added some smoothness to each of those speed ramps so they are not quite so jarring. And I did eight of them in one click instead of 16 clicks. So you just select everything. Once again, keyframe button up here, click the little parameter thing. And if I wanna go back, let's say I wanna take them all off, I can highlight all of them and click the straight line and that will return them back to uh, squared off with no curves. So very, very cool new function, the keyframes. And if you're a speed ramper, which most of us are to some extent, it's very helpful.